from everyone. My name is Anna Alvis and I'm from class 5 section 8. Today the topic of my presentation is about energy. Yes, what is energy? Let us talk about energy. So energy is the ability to do work. This is the basic definition of energy. When we say we create energy, when we stand and we create energy and when we eat, we also have energy. And then energy cannot be created or destroyed. It can only be converted from one form to another. You guys must have to understand that. And the third new property is energy can be moved from one object to another. The second and third are almost similar, but they have two percent difference. And then after that, energy has many forms. So let's study about these forms. Yes. So energy types of energy. First, it's heat energy. Heat energy contains an object that contains heat. Like, for example, we have an example of a toaster. A toaster, when it heats up the um, and toast the bread in that time, it creates the heat energy. And you can see when you touch the bread, the bread is heated up. And then after that, we have potential energy. Potential energy is the energy that is stored in our body that can be used later to do work. It has three types. Gravitational potential energy, chemical potential energy, and elastic potential energy. These three types are actually really important. First, gravitational potential energy. We are higher above the ground. We have gravitational potential. Chemical potential energy includes the food we eat and the batteries we are pricked. And in elastic potential energy, when a spring is trashed or compressed, it creates elastic potential energy. Let us know that what is a kinetic energy? Kinetic energy, moving objects have kinetic energy. And then after that, we have a person kicking the ball. So when we, uh, the person is moving and it's kicking the ball, and that kinetic energy is transferred to that ball, and the ball is moving too. So these both objects have the kinetic energy. Then we have sound energy. What sound energy. Sound energy is actually when we create a voice, when you have bad voices around. So that voices are known as sounds. So we like right now I'm talking. So I'm creating a sound and that person is talking and that's a push of the sound. Yes. And then after that we have solar energy. Solar energy includes in solar panels. In solar panels they're made of photovoltaic cells. Photovoltaic cells. This is actually the image of solar panels, as you guys can see here. And then after that, we have an example of nuclear energy. Nuclear energy includes the bombs. They're very harmful to our environment. They include a fire that made of dreadful materials that can kill our environment. And we have after that is electrical energy. Electricity is a main part of our daily life. And we mostly use this equipment. You guys mostly can guess it. It's a light bulb. Yes, everyone uses a light bulb for their light. And it's also made up of electricity. And then light energy. Light bulb is also a source of light energy. But here I gave a different example. It's off, a torch. In a dark environment, every light is off. So we just turn the torch and there is shine. Light is shining. Yes, so that's all about what is energy and what are the forms of energy. I hope you guys enjoyed the presentation.